Video is live now, it says. Hi, everybody. We'll finish getting set up here. Early adopters, there they go. This is great. Okay, let's see if we can get the uh, chat working. Seems to be. Awesome. screen is kind of it's got fingerprints on it. It's one of the things that we can do early in the show is take care of these last <coughs> little technical details, get our drinks, get our soft drinks all set. Paperwork in order. And uh, I see Barbara Fisher and Audrey Clark are <coughs> In attendance already, they're right on time, which is wonderful to see. I'm gonna adjust my microphone wire. I know people like like to be involved in the behind the scene, the technical aspects of the show are always kind of interesting. Got our bell set up, test on our cameras. There we go, we got the shoulder cam. I think I'll adjust that shoulder cam a little. It's like going behind the scenes. It is. Absolutely behind the scenes. This is like 20 seconds or 20, 30 seconds off. Not sure. How's that? How's that? <coughs> Testing, that looks pretty good. That's a camera you got to get just right or you've cut somebody in half. We wouldn't want that. No, that's for the magic show. That's for Bob Davis to cut people in half. <laughs> well, you know what we could do too is adjust the picture. On our monitor there, it's, could use a little adjusting. Just get, get everything just perfect. It's a little easier to see like that, isn't it? Wonderful. I can almost read what's over there. Oh, that's that's a thought, is dialing it in to try to increase the uh, readability of the comments. I can actually read them. I can read with Barbara Fisher. I can read Audrey. She says, hi, everybody. Barbara Fisher says, hi, Mary and Howard and Lounge Cadets. Hi back, everybody. You are a lounge cadet, too, Barbara Fisher. Um, they might be able to see. Because you are watching, you are here. You are a virtual lounge cadet. In the uh, shoulder cam, well, just out of view, just out of view outside the window of the shoulder cam. If you look out the window, you can see the street. And Oh, yeah. Um, now, Paul Kokoda is getting something out of his trunk, but he's... Just before, he's over here. He's just before the window. I could see him from this angle. Is and he I, the one hanging over into the driveway? His. <laughs> no, no, that's somebody behind him. Paul's getting, uh, it, it's not shaped like a pizza. Oh, is it more Doritos? It looks like he's got like fistfuls of cans of Coca-Cola or something. <laughs> Wait, he's going, now he's going into his passenger side. He parks in the Fed's spots and they never bother him. Well, he put, he put the cans inside, they took them out of the, well, it's not really the trunk, it's the rear, the rear door, the fifth door. Mm -hmm. Oh, wait, you're going to see him now. He's pulling up. Now you can see him. He's dead oh, in the window. Oh, that's, I see it. That's our very own Paul Cocotti. You can see him getting out of the car. He's right there. <laughs> 
And now, now he's out of sight, because now he's at that, he walked around. He's very uh, kind of fussy about, you know, he puts a lot of thought just parking his car. He's like going in and out of all the doors. Mm -hmm. He's moving it up a few feet. He's parked illegally in the, you know, the Homeland Security. Do we see a pizza? We, the, the, ladies and gentlemen, there is a pizza. <gasps> There's a pizza. I'm so excited. Big, a big pizza and plastic bag with probably the Doritos or something. I think the Doritos are like no matter what, or, right? No, no, the beer is no matter what. The beer is no matter what. We don't what. have beer here, though. So. Here he comes. There you go. He's coming into sight, crossing the street. The pizza is crossing the street, and it's being accompanied by Paul Kokoda, right where my finger is there. See, ladies and gentlemen? No, you no, I'm not it's exciting right off the bat. We've got a lot of drama here. It's been weeks. It's been weeks since we had any. What's the name of that pizza place again? Ricotta's. Ricotta's. It's my favorite pizza place lately. Now, the, the, the car that was parked behind Paul just pulled up. Behind Is that? Paul. I think that might be Bob. Ricotta's. Ricotta's. Bob, uh, the photographer you know, from the Courier, he drives a Toyota Why? Prius, a red Prius. Prius. It must be him. Oh look, it's a ricotta's pizza. Followed by the original. Yeah, that looks like. That looks like it. It's a breed. That could be Bob. It fits his kind of demographic. Now he's opening up the fifth door. These guys all have the same M.O. Now he's, he's busy doing something. Now, what are, what are Bob's habits? Does he have like a routine of things he brings? He likes to bring a homemade dip. A homemade dip. With mysterious ingredients. He's parked right under the no parking sign there. So where it'll be easy to find his car. Just look for the sign. Yeah, I, I always like to pull up part of the way so I'm positioned between the two no parking signs that are really far apart because I think maybe someone won't realize that it's a no parking zone. Oh, I see. And you could always claim, well, the part you were in, you know. You, you and I see, that looks like Suzanne. And are they getting something out of their car or are they Perhaps. leaving? Or are they leaving? Are they blowing us off? Let's hope they're not leaving. No. I hope not. I was looking forward to What are they doing? Seeing them. Are somewhere. you watching them? Oh, they're they're out of my they're out of my view now. It's amazing this one window. You could shows you how important an old tech window is. It's like having you get all these cameras, but you know what we use in the window. The car started up. Car started. I think the headlights are on. Maybe they're leaving. No, they're coming. They're bringing snacks. They're bringing they're snacks. Coming. Okay, we got... Uh, I saw you the other day. I was going down Elwood, and I saw you approaching Ashford. They were car just over there. Yeah, you were approaching it. Yeah, you were approaching it. Bob Davis is in the house, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, man, I see this one. The tuna has gone fast, baby. Oh. There's only three little tuna sandwiches left. I am not a spicy. I'm going to have some. You better grab one before they're gone. Yeah, they're really good. Well, the, the pizza will slow everybody down a little bit. Paul Kakoda's here, ladies and gentlemen. Sent over by Ricotta's Pizza. Try and grab me a, a big, greedy portion of that. Put over my thing for me. Uh, fire cam on so you can see people entering the glamour people entering lounge academy here comes courier express photographer bob closest to you closest here with his back to you waving he's he's has situational awareness he, and, uh, now mary my co-host is in the red with her back to you and to her right, right now, that, that's McNeil, and she's with Suzanne. Suzanne is waving. They don't realize we're using the camera behind them. We keep them guessing around here. We'll have to get big red lights that go around. Tonight, 
my car. Did you, have to, did you have to wait long for that pizza? No. Call yeah. ahead. Oh, of course. <laughs> well, they sure made a great pizza. I'm, I'm like dying. I got a couple of pizza over there. Today. It's really a good one, too, as they always are. That's Ricotta's Pizza, ladies and gentlemen. 716-768. 8966. I'd like to thank them for sending Paul over here with one of their big pies. You can see Paul enjoying it there. Piano side. What do you think, uh, Brian? That's, That's a good picture, isn't it? Mm-hmm. You can't ask for anything more. I'm playing right now, Pete. Pete, what do you think? Personal message. He asked me if I'm playing. No, not Pete's Garage. This is another my original Pete. Dale Kine is checking in with his. I appreciate your regularity here, Dale. Checking in with us. Dale's a car guy. Lizzie's in town, as you can see. She's at the foot of the piano. She's a little eclipsed right now by Paul Dakota, but let me give you a better shot of her. There she is, right at the end of the piano, in the black turtleneck. The blonde in the black turtleneck, everybody. Like I had to point her out. asking if we're on. It's like, I said, yeah, now. You know, you send him a link. Well, it's hard to do that with one finger. You know? I mean, he's a, he's a very technical, savvy guy, so I'm sure he'll go to my, my wall and see it. If he's super, super savvy to Lounge Academy, he'll go to WBIG TV and see it. Either way, it works. I think it works either way.
should have died. No of station 40 some years ago, 42 years ago, looking for good music on the station, and it came from Toronto. I never yeah, We used quit. to have jazz in Buffalo. I never quit. Oh, yeah, but today. It, was, it, was, it was only, it was, it was like, you know, a third of the time, though. Yeah. And I used to listen to that a lot, too. When you go way back, John Hunt was, he was incredible. You know, Mary Ryan, have you ever listened to 91 does everybody know about 911 with me? So far. Well, well, of course, Bob knows. Bob knows. He's got a lock to 911. 9-11, that's a good way to remember it. 
Thanks for that, that tip for that mnemonic uh, device. Oh. Well, it looks like we got a basis button, right? Do you know the song Wild? The girls outnumber the guys, which is fine. I just heard it on the way down. Can you guys have another look at the bases loaded here? It's as good as anything you've ever heard. I'll tell you that. Shot of probably Harry Harry's painting up on the up on the fireplace mantle in the background there. George Barrymore. He graced us with his presence that night. He did. Put in a nice set. It's nice to see him back. It's always great to see Gaia. Part of the show. Known to the general public as Vicky Foyce, Foltz. I just know her as Gaia, you know, her show business name, because my whole life is show business. Well, that's what we do here, you know? It is. She made some appearances before we were, uh, I had such a wide broadcast. Oh, oh, yeah, she's been here for sure. And she's with us every week via the uh, Miracle of the Internet. One of the best things about the Mountain Cat. Back before it became really hot. Yeah, she was in. She got in on the ground floor. I ran out of it and I made some more. She knows. She knows her stuff. Uh, you'll see that Courier Express photographer Bob is standing there with a slice of. Right, and, uh, the, the hipster with the ponytail is our own Bob Davis with his back at the VIP table. That's uh, it's Robert Merlin Davis. He's world class jazz pianist and world class magician. And he's having a well, oh, show business powwow conversation there with the woman known by one name to the world, McNeil. It's like they've got secrets of sharing over there, you know. They're talking about different management situations. Oh, I'd love to be a fly on the VIP table, wouldn't you? And at home, you guys get to be one. You can read lips. We'll have to bump the table. I was just about to suggest that. You took the words right out of my mouth. We think the same. So we'll put a bugging device over there, because that's, that's where the real heavy conversation is. Everybody thinks nobody can hear you there, but. Yeah. I really want to know what's going on in Buffalo. Yeah. That, that end of the table. <laughs> and, and it's funny you mention that because this, this building uh, historically was known for that when it was the Round Table restaurant. This is the place that the reporters would come to like stumble onto something, right? You hang out at the Round Table. That's what I heard at the Buffalo. You know, over here, the gangsters talking to the judges and the lawyers. And and the report, Bob was here at the corner. Yeah, here, he had his name on one of the stools. I have a friend here that was yeah, a from Manhattan. Manhattan. Oh, I came in with, uh, I think, five, six other people. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And yeah. Put a 20 on a bar. Two owners are the other. I just don't get any trouble. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not refusing. <laughs> <laughs> See? That's what they're coming out. Anything you want to know, this is the place. Gaia says hi back to everybody. Oh, really? Who's, who's this here? I got another private message. Oh, it's Vincent Lesh. He's sending me a commercial take out taxi. Good old Vince. <laughs> This heart of mine. 
doing very well. The world is fine. As far as I can tell. Sending another message. Until when? He should join us sometime. Oh, he's in town. Oh, he's in He's gone for a while. Why doesn't he just join us? We've got Renaissance music going there recently. I'm thinking it has been fun. I mean, I do. Can, can you ask me on the air and then I can just tell you with the mic? I don't know if he knows how to tune in. Right, Since it's Pete, he's important. We're fun with you, though. I love it. You always can go right over to the hall after, which I do. You need to have a contingency plan for when this happens. Like someone to tell jokes. This guy walks into a bar. Okay. Yeah, he's in town, which is tremendous. I haven't seen him in I remember the last time, should I tell the story before he comes on? Yeah. Last time, I think this is the last time he came to see us at the Statler. And uh, first time we'd seen each other. I'll save the story. I'll save the story. Yeah, when I went to the Vespers with you, that's how I started going to the Vespers because of her. No, we're probably going to the Vespers. Michael Powers likes the stream and we like Michael Powers. We like to remind Mike Powers that his social credit scoring system here at Moms Academy recorded the fact that he liked our stream and that goes on his permanent record. He will be remembered for future generations. It could go to offset something he does that maybe isn't so good in the future. Right? Right? It's good to have some in the bank. This heart of mine was doing very well. The world was fine. As far as Michael Powers could tell. Suddenly I met you and I dreamed of gay amour. Dawn I woke up singing sentimental with your this heart of mine. It's dancing gaily now. I taste the wine of real romance now.
the alligator's looking over her shoulder. <laughs> she sent me a picture. I wish that would have been a public picture. That was great, Janet. I might download it and make it a public picture. The she, alligators are watching. She, she was outside, beautiful backyard in the Florida Keys with water behind her. I was looking for the alligators. I didn't see any. She was enjoying the uh, Lounge Academy glass. Or, or was it uh, Department of Coffee and Donuts? I think it was Lounge Academy. Yeah, I love that show. Happy one weekend to Janet. That's sexy hair. That's what all the models do. They have fans blowing on their hair to make it messy. It's that just got out of bed look. In the, uh, you know. It would be really fun if Peter Grager comes to me. Yeah, he's a great guy. Brilliant marketing man, too. It gives me some great ideas. It is. Here Janet goes again. I hear the trumpets blow again. I'm all glow again. Taking a chance on love. Here I slide again. About to take that ride again. What? I'm starry eyed again, taking a chance on Lounge Academy. I said the game was a frame up. I never would try. Now I'm taking that game up, and the ace of hearts is high. This is different from the last three months of going. Peter Graber is going to be here around 9.30, everybody. Don't tell anyone. <laughs> is that one of the guys I missed? Oh, it's an old friend of mine. From, out of, now, from here, now he's, now he's from out of town. Is he the guy that brought the pizza a couple weeks ago? No, he hasn't been... Uh, All right. You don't know him. Uh, he, he lives in uh, Florida or someplace. Okay. Where does he live? South Carolina, North or South North Carolina. Really, Harold Ireland might have wrote that one? Yeah. I used to sing. Went in 
out, say here or Erlen as a guest. You it's never, a good you're going to kick it's a good your tip. Tip. Yeah.
that was a Johnny uh, yeah. oh, Johnny right, like it's, you it's Do you have it? No. Oh, oh, hey, Van Stone is here. Van two, uh, Van Houston had two major li- lyricists. Johnny uh, That's gonna be my New Year's resolution too, Dave Van Stone. We're not gonna miss um we're not gonna miss a Friday night of lounge academy. Stone in, in uh, Delaware. Now I've got to remember what state he's living in. He jumps around with the frequency of a cheap ham radio. He made a pledge for 2020 to not miss an episode of Lounge Academy. We're going to match that pledge. And we're not going to miss a week either. That goes for Dave Corbett, too. Lounge Academy post- posters. I'll show them. See, they never. Yeah, the rubber. The rubber. Yeah, this is. That's right. This isn't those cardboard ones like Lizzie brings us from all around the world. These are. These are rubber backed. I'll show you what we mean here. These are these are custom um, Lounge Academy uh, drink coasters. This is the white. This is the black. It's got kind of a sparkly show business background. And uh, they're like little, they're made out of like mouse pad material. Yeah, they are. Is what it is. And uh, so you can like slam your drink down to, to, be, to make a point and you won't damage your, your wooden table or your piano. Uh, or the glass, or, or the coaster. They, they're very resilient, very washable. We make them right here, literally right in the lounge. We've got a industrial equipment I roll out on those racks that are just out of view. Um, actually, you could, I think you could see them. You just, you just probably can't make out what they are. They're back in the other room there. The heat presses. These are um. These are called. It's called sublimation printing. We use. It's a pretty advanced process. It actually transfers the ink as a gas right into the substrate. Substrate. So it doesn't. It doesn't wash off. I mean, it's. It's the color of the material now. You won't find those on the website, though. But if you ask about them, I'll put them up there if you need, need to set. Are the 2020 calendars available? 
They are. We've got. That's great, Bob. Go ahead, Mary. Take his money right now before he gets away. Mary will take care of you. Yeah, there's one right there on the uh, with his name on it, right on. There. Before he drinks too many beers and forgets. That's what I learned in sales. Is you close it. You don't give him a chance to walk. I mean, what if he gets an important phone call or something and forgets about us, right? Here it comes. Well, that's one of the uh, deluxe uh, plasticized models. You can, you can manhandle those, and they, you can set a, You can set a beer on that one. It's got a plastic cover. It's in a bag, but inside it, it's actually it has a plastic, clear plastic cover and a black. We're gonna, we're gonna give Bob the royal. That's. Well, maybe it's not. I'll take that back. I think that's a standard. See how it's done, ladies and gentlemen? It's like sport fishing here. What a squash, starts to go up above 500. At 500, we can hold the price. We don't know what the price is, but we can hold it for you. Above 500, then scarcity of supply kicks in and the price actually goes up. So rather than getting a quantity discount, you have to pay a premium. This is turning into an auction, ladies and gentlemen. Passing the buck right now to Mary. Thank you, Bob. Appreciate it. Those calendars were a big hit. It was really a big, big commercial success for us. And for the fledgling art, art branch of our operation is getting off to a very good start this year. Well Janet, don't feel bad about the coasters because they they're not they're not they're not even for sale yet. I'm, I'm showing them off. If there's if there's an interest and there seems to be I'm glad I did show them to you guys then I'll, I'll turn them into a product and I'll put them on the uh, website make them uh, easy to order. Just let me know. I'll, I respond to market demand. I'll put anything on that gift shop you want. Anything in the world you think of. Can you put some skunk funk on there? Some skunk funk. Some skunk funk. Some skunk funk. Some skunk funk. Try not to like, screw it up. It could come out sounding worse. Who knows what the combination those words could create. <laughs> We're not on a time delay here. We don't want to say anything questionable, especially with Kathy Moses listening in. Hopefully Kathy will be uh, joining us in studio a little later in the evening with her comedy knockabout partner, Nick. So 
Speaking of speaking of mugs, I'm going to have a sip of beverage out of out of the mug I bought myself from the beer shop. They're not only they're not only decorative and statement making, but you can drink out of them. Greatest compliment I've ever paid you. No doubt. No, listen to what you said. You're the man. <laughs> I do got them all the time. Actually, I, 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 I own all the rejects. We only put out quality beers. Only a tremendous quality gets past me, the final inspector. So if there's any, any microscopic imperfection, I take it home to my shop and put it in my cupboard and drink coffee out of them all day. And the imperfections remind me to be a better person and a more efficient producer of product. That's why I do that. I, I drink out of them like wearing ribbons of shame. So that I do a better job for you, the consumer. I know that we meet every night And we couldn't have changed since the last time Joy and delight It's a new kind of love at first sight Though it's you and it's joy all the time Every meeting's a marvelous pastime Increasingly sweet Whenever we happen to meet, I greet you. With a song in my heart, Susan Jorsky, I behold your adorable face. Just a song at the start, but it soothes a hymn to your grace. So 
ones such as ours came to be. the music went to pop. But I'm fine. They changed drugs. <laughs> Howard Paul said after that song, everyone started writing lyrics for the portals. That is a great, that is a great, it is a great lyric word, portals, portals, because you, you just, I don't know, it just, it's just, so nice a word to form in your mouth. I'm gonna think of one. Right? Portals. Portals. You have to sing it to really articulate that word. You have to sing it kind of British. Portals. Portals. Yeah. Yeah. Good point. You know that that is true. It's kind of a kind of a British dialect seems to work. But also. Uh, I guess because wrote, uh, that's where the stuff came from, our language, you know. Oh, that's got So when it's being expressed at its, at its most, we're yeah. really yeah. squeezing yeah. everything out of those yeah. spirits. Yeah. Yeah. It does take on that British yeah. thing. So I've, I've noticed that. It, it's like, what are you doing? Why are you coming all of a sudden turning British? Yeah, yeah. yeah. you can't sing flower. I, I you have to sing flower. Memphis well, Memphis and Jew. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's true. It's true. We can't use our Tana Wanda accent for all these words. Why not? Can't sing with a Buffalo accent? Well, maybe we can. I'm discontented with homes that are rented. I have invented my own. Darling, this place is a robber's oasis. Life's weary chases and lows. Welcome to Lounge Academy. The house. Flowers pretty caress the street. Easy to hide in. Live side by side in. When it's a guide in my dreams. Picture you on my knee. Just two for two, and two for two. Me for you, and you for me. Oh, nobody near us to see us or hear us. No friends or relations. 
incredible. I'm discontented. When you did play. Homes that are rented. I have invented my home. <laughs> Darling, this place is a lover's oasis. Life's weary chase is unknown. the streams cozy to hide in live side by side in let it abide in my dreams Betty's in the house ladies and gentlemen Betty knows where everything is around here. She knows where stuff is. I don't know where it is. Cheap knockoff lounge academy merchandise. It's often found on Amazon. You know they're cracking down on that. It says see more. Let me see what else he wrote. Not getting the real deal if it's not shipped directly from Big Blue at your expense. <laughs> cameras all around us, as if the, the news just keeps getting worse and worse around here. There's cameras there, and I am back there. I, don't, I forget where they all are. There's one up there. After a while, you just forget they're there. That's what we're, we're playing on that. You know, and, and the good stuff comes out. like on those reality TV shows. You wonder, how could these people like just carry on like this? They say you forget the cameras. They forget the cameras. It's just some kind of phenomenon. It just happened. I do. I don't know where uh, Keeper to? More than you know it came from that one. Yeah, More than you know. Did it? Yeah. Really? Yeah, it's Vincent Humans. Is it the same song? No, it came from the same musical, I think. Oh, the same musical? No, 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 It's getting harder and harder to look things up in this book for some reason. No, 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 I don't know if more than I know again this particular publication. It is not, but there's another one with the word more in it. Each time I look at you, it's like the first time. Each time you're near me, the thrill is new. There is nothing that I wouldn't do for the red light of the sight of you more. It's like he's going to play golf. The, the verse ends in four. Yeah, four. The more I see you. Is that your reward? It is. The more I want you. This feeling just grows and grows with every. 
She knows it. <laughs> <laughs> now, who wrote that song? 
really small little oh, right. oh. morning. Who did write it? Who wrote it? It was at the top there. Um, it was arranged by Nelson Riddle. It's yeah. the title oh, track for my number one favorite jazz album of all time. Bob Hillard and David Mann. Mm. That's why I didn't know. <laughs> what about Marilyn Mann? I don't know either of them. I'll do an intro so I can learn the song. Yeah, so see down the octave. <laughs> we'll find another one. Didn't they do well, we'll do one. I'll take the. Yeah, I'll, I'll sing the top part. I get along without you very well. Of course I do. It's an incredible album. It's my all-time favorite jazz well, album. No, no, I mean, same writers. Um. Well, that's from the same album. I'm oh, oh, I know what you mean. Well, I know the album, but I... Here's another piece of... I, I, wasn't, I, wasn't I put this in there, so that's right. presumably... Oh, that, what a great uh, song, uh, Irving yeah, Berlin song. Which one is I've it? got my love to keep me warm. Yep, that was the one. Do you sing in French? That's amazing, though, how you get a song that good. I have a number of singers, so I normally sing in French, Italian, German, um, Czech, Russian. I would love to hear you sing. Thank you. But I've been doing jazz professionally in the last like, three or four years. Thank you. You want to love to keep me warm? Yeah, let's do it. All right. All right. 
Can I throw the other ones out and put these in? Yeah, throw them right out. Those were 2019. Let's, let's... Happy New Year! Let's roll. Yeah, thanks, Rich. Rich bought us some sponges. <laughs>
can't help thinking Buff it was written about yeah, Buffalo yeah, Stones. He, he did move here. Yeah. Yeah. If you could find it for me. I gotta go. Baby, it's cold out there. <laughs> what do you mean out there? <laughs> Baby, you're free. But I mean, find some more songs. Let it snow, let it snow. Do you know the wave? Yeah, the fun. And let it snow, let it snow. Yeah. Let it snow was Irving Berlin. I don't think I do. It's a wave. Do we do that? I didn't know that. Maybe it's cold outside. Oh, yeah, that's a, it's great. Yeah, I don't, I don't though, yeah. You got Mark in that bug. Oh, it is? Let it snow. Let it come up. Yeah. Okay. Pick, pick some out of here. Okay. You're going to know a lot of those. Naturally. Moses is going to be joining us. Maybe.
Somebody's sending us a lot of hearts and stuff. I think it's I think it's Barbara Fisher. Thank you, Barbara Fisher. You can see Paco Code is going over to get McNeil for the sound that he's requesting. Under the sun, it 
There's so many great songs. There will never be another you, McNeil. I don't know that one. But uh, there will never be another you. That's just past that. Wonder Lover is gone. Did you really? I don't know that. Yeah. I'll show you how this goes. <laughs> when you're alone, who cares what starlit skies? When you're alone, the magic moonlight dies. A break of dawn, there is no sunrise. When your lover is gone. You've never heard it? No. It's just the way I do it. You think you've never heard it. <laughs> here, let's pick some out of here. Let's try her up with this one. Yeah. Yeah, Mari knows all the songs. I do not know all the songs. I know some of the songs. Not that one. Not that one. How about it? We're starting in the A's. Oh, wow. April and Paris. April and Paris. Again, once again, really well. Try it. Let's see what you do. Everyone burns. It's kind of well. As much as possible. How it is. Maybe I can't live to love you as long 
cause I want it to Life is long enough, maybe These are very are white male centric keys. Exactly. Thank you. Old white male centric keys that only people Old like me and Suzanne can sing. Can sing. We'll find that one. It's from Poland, and it's the most covered jazz song in history. 
You mean audibly? Yeah. Is it really? Is yeah. I can bet you that, yeah. You know, the, the, the French... The words were written by Johnny Mercer. The yeah. French yeah. words don't make any sense compared to the English. Well, the English is a very poor translation of the original French. Is that some of it? I do that one. In, I do that one in more than one language too. Do you really? No, you don't. Yeah, I do. No, yeah, I do. Autumn leaves. Ukrainian fig book. Hmm? You have your Ukrainian fig book. The fig news book. The fig news book. how it works sometimes. Wow, wow it's exciting. Thank the autumn leaves. <laughs> you're going to say you're going to do it in German? Italian. Each wife's friends freeze. This is my grandson. He's not like this. He's not like this. Okay, what's we'll that? Okay, we'll say you're going to start. from the start because I don't want to like I don't want to miss any of your Kind of city. Very interesting. I mean, they're like twins. In no way, the autumn eaves lay of Edray and Old Way. I ease your hips lay, and I may say, is his cane in none but a hand's
hard for me to get through it when I do it. It's is such that, a beautiful language. Are you actually reading some lyrics, or is that? Are you playing? Are you playing Sid Caesar? <laughs> I'm not sure. The first Sid Caesar reference of the evening, ladies and gentlemen. With all the time. Do you want to do like a real do dirty bluesy version of yeah. Summertime? Like nasty? How can I say no to that? <laughs> <laughs> who, who doesn't? The hot night, the long weekend. But we'll, we'll adapt. <laughs> yeah, let's get in that one in my easy reader book. Warn the children at home, ladies and gentlemen. Getting into the steamy part of the night. And Paul Giambra was on the radio talking about the whole thing. Want some help there? I can't figure it out. need to clean my desk. Why would a guy with all that money Thank you. not take a loss and take off his tassels? Why would he want to gain? Marked out one of the uh, posters is in it. Oh, <laughs> you're such a pro. You're working ahead of me, and I, I didn't even catch on. I don't know what these notes mean over here. I love how you have your lanyard on. And they got fine it's like you're at a convention or something. <laughs> the convention? Well, it's my all pass. Oh. Oh. Like it comes in handy inside your own building. And then if we got to do a Buffalo commercial. <laughs> Speaking of Buffalo, we've got. I don't know if it's. It might be too early to make this announcement, but. It's just kind of exciting. And I'll, I'll just. Just wing it. Tell you where we're at. We're, we're in. Uh, in the process of hopefully uh, over at Buffalo, which is our auto repair, you got an old wreck, you know? Our motto is Anaconda, it's your car. Um, we, we'll fix it for you. And uh, we're, we're in a, a process of hopefully acquiring uh, Rusty Jones. Remember the old Rusty Jones? That did the undercarriage of your car with tar? Yeah, they use. Uh, yeah, right. Yeah. Yeah, they put the under. Like Mari said, they uh, put the put tar on the undercarriage of your car, so so it would last long. Is it necessary anymore? It is with my customers' cars because it's really we we keep them running. Way past their. I mean, they, these engines and trannies they put in these things. They go for. I've got a lot of customers. Well, I don't even have a lot of customers, but a lot of my customers, a few customers. have, you know, over 200,000 miles on their cars. And I could see no end to I could fix everything very inexpensively, but right. I see these things rusting, and you know that the rust is going to win out at the end. So, yeah, but once getting, the rust is started, the Rusty Jones is not going to help. Well, my formula, well, we're updating the formula to a, a formula I call Uncle Jake formula. Yeah. And, uh, it's it's a it's an oil oil based formula, so okay. it doesn't it doesn't dry out and collect and hold the water. As long as it's oily, you have to reapply it periodically. It's self sacrificing. Really? Yeah. Do but you know the uh, effectiveness of it? Personally, oh yeah. Okay. Yeah, I've got a my favorite car I bought in uh, Valentine's Day in, in uh, 1974. It was a long time ago. Um, yeah, it has no no rust because I I was really good about using my uncle Jake's process on it, and uh, there's none. There may be a future because I was a, yeah. So uh, so anyway, and I thought the branding could help help our company because it's a recognizable brand. So you bought it? I'm in the process. Um, I actually have the trademark rights to to it at this point. Why do you have a half smile on your face? Because I'm I'm beaming. It's it's public record now. It's um, it's at the U.S. Trademark Office. Rusty Jones belongs to Applied Innovative <laughs> Solutions LLC, which is the parent company of WBIG TV in Buffalo, New York, uh, uh, New York State uh, Auto Repair uh, Shop registration is under Applied Innovative Solutions, and, and so is uh, Rusty Jones going to be. And 
Um, so anyway, uh, yeah, I've been getting a positive uh, response to it. I've been busy. That's what I've been busy with the last couple weeks. And uh, filing the, doing the filings and the paperwork. So you're going to do that out of your, your character place? Yeah, yeah, I've already done a little bit, which is what led to it. Yeah. And uh, we can also license, you know, sell the product and license, um, license to other car shops all over the, the country or the world, and they could, That's very cool. they could put up Rusty Jones, uh, you know, signage and, and branding, and uh, help attract more more customers to their. Undercoating service. And so this is a unique formula that you got from your uncle. <laughs> yeah, it's not it's not magic though. I mean, it's basically oil will prevent metal from rusting. Yeah. A hundred percent. If there's oil on it, until the oil comes off, and in some areas it lasts longer than others, like where it's hidden. You see, which is great, you know, because you don't have to touch it up that much, and if you forget or goof off. It's good, you know, and those are some of the worst, most vulnerable areas. So as long as it's oily, um, so the the formulation really goes into things other than what's effective against rust. It's what what is more like the, you know, what how well it seeps in and how how drip you know drip free it is. Um, there's different odors involved, so you can do certain what? formulations that have a more palatable odor, odor for uh, certain certain buyers. Some guys don't care, right. you know, they, just, they want to smell it working, you know. Yeah. And um, so, so that's really what, that's really the only concerns about the formulation wow. is really the, uh, you know, uh, the attributes of it, other other than the rust prevention. Got it. Very cool. Yeah. Wow, that's exciting. It is. It is. It's yeah. exciting. And Mary's uh, heading up the graphics department because we're, um, you know, we, we have to put, put those logos and things. There's a Rusty Jones character. It's like, I remember it's like a cartoon. It's redheaded, right? So we need, it's all hand drawn. It's all hand yeah, yeah, done. That, the uh, original originator of that is, is, is not around anymore. Right. So uh, Mary's uh, picking up where that left off. Mm -hmm. And cool. she's capturing them. She, she really got it. She did a, a sketch. We didn't do a color one yet, but did a quick black and white sketch. Have and, you got uh, that around? Um, I've got it on my uh, camera. Want you want to yeah. see it? Yeah. You're going to start undercoating cars? Yeah. We, yeah. Yeah. We're, um, we, we're, we're, uh, we're, be, we're becoming Rust, Rusty Jones Company, acquiring Rusty Jones, the old brand. Out. Yeah. Wow. In, a, wow. in a manner of speaking. Well, I, I can, you know, these, these these are all good possibilities. We'll, we'll follow the market demand, you know. See, here's a, here's a picture of that. I remember Rusty Jones. The trademark. Oh, yeah. Yep, yep. Does that, does that involve the black stuff or the orange stuff? It's, it's what it's whatever whatever formula we want to use. Oh, I'm thinking yeah. of doing it as a cocktail. Yeah. You know, we'll, we'll have we'll have a few packaged yeah, Rusty Jones, Jones formula. He's, he's aged a little. Well, we like have we all have. Uh, but considering, I think he must have <laughs> gotten a lot of that Rusty down. Jones yeah. product on him because he really didn't age that much since uh, the 1960s uh, and 70s. Right. I remember the jingle. Hello, Rusty Jones. Buy Rusty Cars. Oh, all right. Do you remember See, that? isn't that fantastic? Hello, Rusty Jones. Goodbye, Rusty Cars. Yeah, exactly. Am I right about that? You're right about yeah. it. See, did you remember that? Actually, I didn't. I did not remember the all the jingle like, as well as you did. What's weird is that that somehow was from the was primordial swamp that is. My it was brain. in there. It was in there. It was in there. Which is kind of frightening. It's been, it's been in there the whole time. I know. The hundreds of times I've weird. seen you, I didn't, I, you know, that was in there somewhere. Wow. That's bizarre how the brain how the, It is amazing. Okay, Ben. Huh? So anyway, right. that's, how far back? thanks for asking. How far back does this go? The Rusty Jones thing. Probably like, I guess, 72 is the Yeah, early, early 70s, 72. I think. And I have not heard it since about that. Yeah. Yeah, it's not just 
I did a lot between now and then, then and now. <laughs> there was a lot of water underneath that bridge. Uh -huh. And there's a sticker that goes on the car. Yes. And it's got a picture of Rusty Jones. Yes. The character that is not representing anybody living or dead. Got all this legal reason in my mind. We go from rust to summertime. Almost halfway through. Yeah. Yeah. And past the equinox. Not much snow. It's past the equinox. Getting brighter every day. Is it getting more? It is. We've passed the midnight. Yeah, it's brighter.
think we melted the driveway. Yes, I think so. Beautiful. Thank you. Jenkins is with us. Greetings from Grand Island. And my good friend Rosemary Floors. She's my pal from Smule. We're show business partners on Smule. Glad you're taking a peek, Rosemary. I was hoping you'd pop in. Rosemary. I'll be tired of you when the stars grow tired of gleaming. When I Beautiful song. Oh, that was for Rosemary. They, they really wrote some good stuff. Oh, it's not in this one, right? It's in one of them, I 
know it because I'm familiar with the song. Songbooks, everybody. Right into the piano. Right. 
a big entrance. I turned off the sprinkler system. I know when you were coming. <laughs> What's going on? That was in town for a few days. I thought I'd come by. What brings you to town? Is it like family? No. I have two daughters. Right? My first one I brought. She's 11. Nine years ago. Oh, great. I brought her to see real small. Really? Yeah, what a great dad. He brought his daughter up just to see snow. And uh, so this time, my second one, she's five, same age. He brought her up to see snow. We're going to get some tomorrow. Yeah, so hopefully. Yeah, oh, we will. Yeah, yeah. If not, Sunday, for yeah. sure. So yeah, that's, that's what we're going to see. Wow, well, that's so, great. What a yeah. great dad. Yeah, we tried. No. 
just exist, Alfie, until you find the love you've missed. You're nothing, Alfie. When you walk, let your heart lead the way, and you'll find love any day, Alfie. Thanks, Bob. It's a great song. How did how does he write a song like that? Oh, that's his best. Yeah, those intervals. Like, where's he? Oh, that guy. You know what? He's one of those. Yeah, it's like one of those things. Yeah. Unusual ones. He, he would get the words from his lyricist, then he'd write the song. Amazing words. Which is, which is kind of I tricky, think, I think. think Either one of them is tricky. I don't think it's going to get knocked down. I mean, I don't yeah. think it's in any danger. Each way is harder than the last. <laughs> which one? For some no reasons or for you, for me, for everyone? For, for you, for me, for everyone. You know that one? Yeah, I'm familiar with it. I never sang it, but it's uh, looking forward to it. Yeah. Guys never got a hold of that song, did they? I know, I mean, they, Come to think of it, they, they did almost everything Gershwin ever did. And they never, but I'm, I brought, I'm trying to figure out why. That was one of his late songs before he died. That was from that movie, Miss Cobra. I don't know, it was somebody that did that. loved that song. He loved all that music. I love you. Sentimental reason. I hope that you believe me. I'll 
Bob Davis when you need help Restless as a willow in a windstorm. 
I'm as jumpy as a puppet on a string. Say that I have spring fever. We're going to have spring fever on Sunday. But I know it isn't spring. Sorry, I vaguely disconsented. Like a nightingale out without a sin. Why should I have spring fever when it isn't even spring? I keep wishing I was somewhere else, walking down a strange new street. or a rosebud rubbing on a wing feeling so gay in a melancholy way that it might as well be spring it might as well be spring stay fair we got to start getting these spring songs together. If I looked at you and begin to sing. Sing it. Oh, okay. It is. It is getting later because we're gonna quit a little early because I gotta get up early tomorrow morning. Here's another one. Barbara Fisher's favorites. Oh, that's a great one. We'll have to find that one, Barbara Fisher. Fisher. Um,
Here's something from for Barbara Fisher from Shaft. concentrate when somebody else is playing something else. Attention Richie. Birth to Richie. Richie, put the harmonica down for now. Put the instruments away. Yeah, yeah that thing, that's, those things are, are great. They work. Right. Okay, we'll do that very soon. Don't misunderstand. We are only strangers on our way to somewhere else. Someone else is someplace. Mistake my smile. It just means I'm lonely. Love me till this day is gone. Then forget we met. We're just stealing time. Okay, Richie's going to come up and finish up the night here. We're going to be finishing uh, okay. around 10 and so we're on 11. I got to head out. For the Mark Croce Memorial tomorrow morning. You want to what? You want to do the whole thing? Why don't you, why don't you do, do something? Where's Bob Davis? Play the song for me, buddy. Yeah. Bob Davis. Yeah, of course, it's not last than Glenn Miller. It had right. to be you. Right. Yeah, so we can talk. You know what I look for? All right. Richie. Let's do this. We're doing this. G. Good to see you. All right. That's great. Yeah. G. Let's get this microphone out of here. If you mind. Okay. Huh? I was thinking you can see it. Let's see what it is. So here. I got the one. I got the one. The, uh, so if you want to do this, then. Yeah. Yeah. Let's, you want to start? Yeah. 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 
start off with like, start off with the chorus and then we can go into the thing. Are you gonna sing it? Are you gonna try? I'm not sure. Here, I'll, I'll sing, I'll sing. I'll, 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 I'll okay. it. Okay. Yeah, there, so the, the intro that I don't know the intro is here. Right. So here's where we're starting. Tony Bennett. Why do I do? Oh, you are doing the intro. Just as you said. Why must I just give you your way? Why do I sigh? Why do I try to forget? It must be heaven that something lovers call fate. Kept on saying, I had to wait. I saw them all, just couldn't fall to their mouth. It had to be.
Slow down on that other one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Y
be a good week to be there because it's probably going to be very wintry here. Thanks everybody. That was Bob Davis. And he was joined uh, with a little harp with uh, Richie. Richie and uh, Richie, do you want to do the national anthem? Oh, he did it. Great. He's ahead of things here. Hi, Janice. Didn't get a chance to say hi to Janice. Do you want to do any other national anthem? I do have tea, so I Yeah, I have my music here, so I have tea for you. All right, we'll see you next week. i got to get up early for uh, Mark Croce's fu uh, funeral and memorial tomorrow morning. So uh, he's a good friend of so many of us. And uh, we'll be back next week at 7.15 here. And we look forward to seeing you. Thanks, everybody. Thanks, Bill and Barbara. And Suzanne was on both sides of the camera tonight. That's great. Janet, don't don't get falling your lake in the backyard. Could be crocodiles in there. I saw them looking at you. All right, we'll see you next week.